Most people with high blood pressure have no symptoms whatsoever, so we describe it as being asymptomatic, which is why it's important that blood pressure is actually checked and measured. And that's generally done uh, by uh, your GP um, or by the practice nurse. And it's probably um, that single check by your GP has as, as, as been the single most important uh, improvement in, in, in the health over the last kind of uh, 30 to 40 years is, a, is this recognition that blood pressure needs to be checked. Um, uh, and if it isn't checked, then uh, you may not know that you've got high blood pressure until you've developed one of the complications. That's either a stroke or a heart attack. So I'd say it is vitally important that it's checked. Um, it's now much easier to check uh, one's blood pressure uh, oneself by getting a blood pressure monitor which one can buy from uh, one of the kind of local chemists or supermarkets and they're normally easy to apply and one can actually measure one's blood pressure at home and that's actually quite a good way of keeping an eye on blood pressure particularly if you know you've got high blood pressure and you want to know whether the medication is working effectively. The vast majority of people with high blood pressure can be treated with a combination of addressing their uh, lifestyle issues and with medication of which there are several classes of drugs or medications which are known to be effective. Um, in that small group of patients who we uh, are referred who have difficult to control or resistant hypertension, people have looked into ways in which um, uh, they can be uh, best treated. The first thing is to look to see if there's an underlying cause yeah, um, and um, in, in again, in the majority of circumstances, one finds a particular cause which is driving the high blood pressure. But that still leaves a small group uh, in whom, despite all the investigations, there's no obvious cause. Some of them are likely to have genetic abnormalities, which will be difficult to uh, control. But there's a small group who we feel may benefit from a treatment called renal denervation. So this is a, um, a technique which is still under development. Um, and uh, has been uh, uh, th was thought to, to show some benefits and there have been uh, some studies which initially did s suggest some improvement. A more recent study undertaken in the, uh, in the United States didn't show significant benefit and so people are looking again as to how um, the technique might need to be changed and so that's something that we're keen to look at here at KIMS and uh, to support the development of those techniques and see whether there's a potential cure through a single technique uh, working on the kidney arteries uh, which may actually help to uh, both improve the control and potentially cure high, high blood pressure in the future.